There's some little kids playing soccer over there. And if I hit any of them, I'm gonna have to do a lot of explaining. So here's the good aim. Now it looks cinematic, whatever that means. All right, so when I say boomerang, you guys think of only one thing, right? Australia. Well, did you know that boomerangs also came from Africa, India, and even Europe? You know, King Tut had some in his tomb. In my hands, I've got something really cool. This is a traditionally made boomerang. So I was at a local thrift store and I saw this thing for $12. And on the back, it has a little sticker. Watamuli, hello, goodbye. This piece is individually hand painted by Aboriginal families. And when I say Aboriginal, I'm talking about the indigenous people, the natives of Australia. And boomerangs like these have shown up in their cave paintings since 50,000 years ago. That's like, Ice Age stuff. So what that means hello and then Muli must mean goodbye, right? Because boomerangs are supposed to come back to when thrown. But as I did my research, I found that there's many different kinds of boomerangs. There are the traditional throwers that go around and come back to you. There are also ones used as weapons, some that don't come back to you at all. But the biggest thing is the quality of them. Some of them are cheap, just factory made things, and others are really nice works of art. This one has a kangaroo right in the middle, mid hop, and it has some very, very awesome detailing on the edges. One side is nice and flat, and the other is curved. And I'm assuming this all comes into play when I actually throw this thing. So to learn how to throw it, I spent some time learning. The wind is the first thing you need to consider. If the wind's coming straight at me here and I'm trying to throw from this point, I need to hit about a 45 to 60 degree angle. So I know my 90 degree angle is right about here. You know that from math class in fourth grade. So right in the middle is gonna be my 45 degree line. My 60 is gonna be about here. So as the wind comes towards me, I'm gonna have to launch this thing that way at a given angle. I can either clasp it loose gets between my pointer and my thumb, or I can also bring my middle finger up and over. You also need to throw overhand like this. You need to be taking a step, it's a whole body motion. We need to go out to a park and see if I can get this thing into the air. And even better yet, see if I can get it down back to me. After all, it's a boomerang. What comes around goes around. Let's make it happen. So we've got some wind that comes on and off here. Well, we gotta kind of furl it towards the wind and the wind is coming from this way. I guess I just need to get a feeling for this. This is my first boomerang throw ever. Here we go. I'm not gonna full send it this time, I'm just gonna be a bit more gentle with it. Here's my 90, so 45 degrees is out that way. Nice and smooth. All the kids are looking at me strange too, and this is humiliating. Oh, oh Lord. I'm gonna use the pinch this time, so that way it doesn't roll off my finger. I'm gonna use a different hold. Strong wind. Oh, let's keep experimenting. We ain't done here. We don't give up. We're learning here. I'm gonna try for a sharper angle on this one. Okay, that, no. The fact that the ancient peoples of Australia were actually able to get this down, guess with like not well-prepared wood is fantastic. So I'm gonna give it another shot here. If I just blast this thing, will it work? No. This is worse than some textbooks. And I look like an absolute clown out here at the park. Oh, oh, cheers. I'm gonna try holding it a little higher on the boomerang just because I know that in some sports like baseball, you can get a different effect when you're hitting with your hands higher up versus lower down on the shaft of the baseball bat. So I'm gonna apply the same ideas here, just to see if it works out a little differently. And uh, watch me hit this drive. Oh no. Oh, that was, oh, that <laughs> nearly hit the camera. 45 might be even more this way, actually, towards those, literally towards those kids over there. Let's just see what happens. Let's back up. Oh, who discovered this thing? There's some huge birds up there. I have no idea. I think those are pelicans in the sky. That's weird. I'm getting distracted. It's just not changing its flight pattern anywhere. <sighs> Never back down. Never give up. I've done the angles. I've done the different holds. I've done the different orientations from when it's in your throwing hand. I've tried a lot. And my last thought is this. I've been really sending it far up here. And the further up it gets, I don't know if it's gonna have the same elliptical power. So I'm gonna be sending it, instead of launching it into the sky, I'm gonna try and launch it like right at those nets over there, okay? So there's a little bit of wind, but that's okay. I'm at 45 degrees, baby.
Okay, so even though we didn't get the boomerang to fly, I really had a lot of fun with this thing, and it looks fantastic. I think I'm gonna hold on to it as a decorational piece. Gotta clear up the mud first. Did you notice I filmed this video in reverse? I'm good, aren't I? If you have your own unique culture that you wanna share with the VV community, you can send your own artifact like this boomerang to me in the VV studio. The directions on how to send your own package are available in the description down below. It's kinda of disappointing I didn't get this thing to come back to me, but it's whatever. I learned today, I learned. But you know what does come back to you? learning new languages. If you like learning languages, I've got a whole YouTube channel dedicated to that. And if you love culture like this boomerang, I've got even more videos about that. And you like me, can be learning here. We're learning here. <laughs>